Let me see if it works. Uh, we'll start off by giving our praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rock All right. Uh, give our praises to the Holy Spirit, which is revealing everything in these last days to us, making us stronger and stronger, and having us to learn and grow stronger and stronger in the faith. All right. Got my Shai with me. Shalom. All right. And, um, what's it? My Gala. My Gala. Yeah. All right, so my shy, my God, and uh, we're going to get into one today on the subject of, um, what is it, separation of one-third, two-third. And, 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 and really clear, clarifying and cleaning up who, how salvation in this day will be, what, 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 is there, what, what should Israel be looking for for salvation in this last day? Should we be fearful or did, should we put off that weak nature? And, and be walking in, in um, the spirit and the power of your how about Shemi Hawashah. All right. All right. All right. All right. Um, I guess I can open up with uh, the Genesis 4 chapter. Uh, you get into the, uh, some of my way bring out the um, Cain and Abel, the difference in their sacrifice. Come on. All right. Genesis 4 chapter, um, starting at the top. In Adam knew Eve. His wife, and she convinced, and she conceived and bare Cain and said, I have gotten a man from the Lord. And she said again and bare his brother Abel. And Abel was a keeper of the sheep, but Cain was a tiller of the ground. And another thing, you know, something we look over is that um, Cain was the firstborn. And with that being said, technically all the promises and everything was supposed to go to Cain. Mm-hmm. All right. And in the process of time, it came to pass that Cain brought up the fruit of the ground and offering unto the Lord. All right? And Abel, he also brought up the firstness of his flock, you know, for thereof. And the Lord had respect unto the Abel and unto his offering. Mm. But unto Cain and to his offering, he had not respect. And Cain was very rough, and mm. his company fell. And the Lord said unto Cain, Why is thy countenance fair? And why is thy, is thy countenance fallen? If thou does well, should not thou be accepted? And if thou does, well, does not well, sin lies at the door. And thou should be his desire, and thou should rule over him. Man, that, that, this is really deep, you know, because a lot of these camps, they try to, they really try to put the emphasis that, that Cain is the spirit of Esau. Mm-hmm. When this is really the spirit of Jake right now, yeah, and then Cain yeah. and Abel was only dealing with the sons of God because both Cain and Abel were sons of God. Come on. and you know the Lord say, um, "If thou does wrong, sin lies at the door." So he and had he, an opportunity to do right. Where Esau, Ishmael, all the ones that were not cho- chosen, they didn't, they never was had opportunity the, to, to be saved. Right. He say, "Sin lies at the door," hmm. and we remember. First John chapter three, verse four: Whoever committed sin, hmm. transgresses also the law. But sin is the transgression of the law. And who was only given this law was given to? Only Israel. <laughs> so, only Israel has the capability to sin or not sin. Um, mm-hmm. Nobody else. So this is actually a deeper metaphor to speaking on the two thirds of Israel. This is why he said that you are a murderer from the beginning, like your father, you know, and are a liar. Um, because a lot of these brothers to this day, and they're still lying. They're lying, saying that we're not in the new covenant at this at this present moment. But we're gonna get on to that, get into that a little later. And we got remember what you say: the wages of sin hmm. is death. Is death. All right. So uh, this right there, letting you know that. We both were sons of God. So what this is trying to tell us, tell us that not all Israel was going to be immortal. Come on. And that was the key. All right. Um, you got a scripture you want me to hear to? Um, yeah, let's go over here to uh, Baruch, the fourth chapter, uh, verse one, starting at the top. Right. And we're going to read it to four. All right. This is the book of the commandments of Yahweh, and the law that endures forever. 
how they keep it should come to life, but such as leave it should die. So what you was just going into, Cain found death. Mm -hmm. um, because through envy, one leads to the other one. Before he murdered his brother, he had, it started in his heart. It started in, in Cain's mind that he was wroth with his brother. You know, so the same thing is he left off from that commandment, which is the greatest commandment that brothers love to leave out. And that is loving your brother. That is what congeals all of the 613 laws. That's why Christ said, I come to, to bring, give y'all another commandment. And that's that you love one another. Uh, and remember, um, what to say, only only one commitment was before loving your brother. And that's to love your hollow with all your all heart. heart. That's the only commandment that comes before loving your brother. Come on. Is loving your house. All right. Yeah. Second, mm -hmm. second verse. Turn thee, O Jacob, and take hold of it. Walk in the presence of the delight thereof, that thou mightest be illuminated. Meaning that you will become an enlightened. That everyone see your light shine. Right. Give not thy honor to another, nor the things that are profitable unto thee. To a strange nation, mm -hmm. and you no, know, that's got also going into um, the blessings that are supposed to be coming to Israel. Not be so hung up on why the Edomite can't have it. Exactly. Right? I mean, is they give not our honor to another? It's about us. Come on, oh Israel, happy are we for the things that are pleasing to your are made known unto us. Be a good cheer, my people, in the memories of Israel. Mm -hmm. uh, and they say the things are pleasing to your Howard. That goes into the law. And, you know, we got brothers, you know, talking about um, is the law important? Do you have to keep the law? And it's just, it's really quite simple. You ain't saved by the law. You ain't justified by the law. But you keep the law because the laws were written the things that are pleasing to your Howard. Okay. You know, the same way your wife will cook you that dinner you like. She know you like um, fish or spaghetti. And you come home, she going to have this fish spaghetti on the, um, on the stove, just hot and ready and waiting for you. Mm -hmm. You know, with us being the Lord's wife, you know, married to the Lord, you know, we supposed to be the same way because we know this is pleasing to the Lord. It don't save you. It don't. It don't save you. You know, no, it don't have no power over you no more because you're under the new covenant. But it still was the things that was pleasing and, to the and, Lord. And, and this is a cold blooded thing right here. Um, by the ark bringing out this number of the spirit, him bringing out the um, in Genesis, because did. Cain keep the commandment. He did. He 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 kept the commandment that was given to him. Sacrifice. He brought forth for sacrifice. You know what 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 the issue with Cain, biggest problem with Cain was? Is the most high knew his spirit. The same way when Yahweh came back on this earth, no matter how much those brothers were draped down in fringes and the prettiest garments, their heart was they still had malice in their heart towards their brother. And so that is the sin that a lot that was ushered. That that's what ushered death into the kingdom was not keeping the commandment. He kept that commandment, just like these brothers keep the commandments today. They love to keep feast days, high holy days, wear their garments, not eat pork, not deal with the high holy days. But yet, the one thing that, that that's going to usher death into their life is that they have malice in their heart and they have a rough spirit towards their brother. And not to mention that Cain's offering. If you ever worked in the field, was way harder to give than the offering the evil gave. So that should oh. tell you something now. That goes with brothers, you know, day in, day out, you know, on the camps, on the, the corners, you know, bringing it out. Which oh, they you is laboring, and it's way harder than this offering that any plantation or, or, Christian Or loving you know. your brother. That's the point we're trying to say. Mm -hmm. These brothers would rather go up and down the highways and byways and, and, and do, and there's nothing against that. But you're missing the main element when you when you have a malice towards your brother because we're so quick to to mention a two third. Well, Aki, if you if you if it's so many two thirds, that that means that if you're claiming to be bringing forth this truth and and feeding the flock, then that seemed to be more work for you to do. You shouldn't be you shouldn't be propagate uh, uh, against the the two third if you're claiming to be doing the work. You should be focused on doing the work. Period. You want me to continue in Baruch, or you got something? Uh, let's go over here to five real quick. Uh, five and one. Baruch five and one. Right. Put off, O Jerusalem, the garment of mourning and affliction, 
and put on the covenants of the glory that comes from Yahweh forever. Mm -hmm. That's right. Well, yeah. mm -hmm. Cast about thee a double garment of righteousness, mm. which comes from Yahweh. Come on, now, so this is. So this is talking about, this is not talking about your outwardly garments that we love to put on when we get around people and, and on, on our high holy days and so on and so forth. Put on your spiritual garment. Don't be a Jew outwardly, be one inwardly. Put on a double, meaning wear your garment, but also put on the garment of righteousness, which is which is on the inside of it. Right. And it's a city, what's that, Dolomon? On thy head of the glory of the everlasting for Yahweh will show thy brightness unto every country under the heaven mm -hmm. for thy name should be called of Yahweh forever the peace of righteousness in the glory of Yahweh's worship now mm -hmm. one thing he said he said he's gonna show our brightness unto every country under heaven and you know this is what I think of some of these brothers are getting mixed up yes we are supposed to be telling our nations to keep the um, laws and do the things that are pleasing to Yahweh. But yet the blessings, you know, the um, promises. Matter of fact, I just get that Romans 9 is only for Israel, right? So, yeah, we're supposed to tell our nations, you know, to do what is right. You know, brothers are not wrong when the, they say that, but the promises are only for us. Uh, this is Romans chapter 9. I say the truth in Amashiach, I lie not. My conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Ghost that I have great heaviness and continuous sorrow in my heart. For I wish that myself were a curse from, from Christ, for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. So then you know that Jesus promise was only coming to Israel according to the flesh. Mm -hmm. Who are Israelites? To who pertains the adoption? In the glory, in the covenants, in the giving of the laws. In the service of Yahweh, in the promises. Mm -hmm. And the promises is going into their immortality. Okay. Uh, immortality is only coming to Israel, but yet it's only coming to one third of Israel. That was the separation okay. between the one third and two thirds. Whose are the fathers of fathers, and whom of, as concerning the fresh Christ, Cain, who is over, over all, Yahweh blessed forever. Amen. Amen. And on and, 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 and as far as what Christ's words, as far as like dealing with these Gentiles, mm -hmm. Christ's words, let's go to Matthew 10 and mm -hmm. 5. All right. Then the twelve sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles, and to any of the, the Sumerians, and then yet not. Right. Go rather to the loud sheep. Of the house of Israel. So the actual commandment was not for us to be even wasting our time. Now, I guess if one was to come in, you have to you have to give them that judgment. But as far as like like brothers is loving to sit on the corners with the cops all around them and stuff. You um, in downtown, you downtown where it ain't no Jake set. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. You supposed to be in the ghetto, bro. You supposed to be yeah. you supposed to be with the with the so called um, publicans and the sinners. Um, not not on the sunny side of town. Um, you ne Yahweh Shah never was in the in in, in the Roman temple or Roman, uh, you know, uh, giving anybody no preaching yeah. or teaching any lessons. Like man. we say, uh, messed up as one body was. That, that was, that was one the thing only thing they, they got were right. doing. That's about the only thing they, they got that right. Yeah, you supposed to be in the hood teaching. Right. But go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, mm -hmm. and and also ye go and preach, saying, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers. Come on, raise the dead. Come on, cast out the devil. Come on, free that you have received. Come on, and free to give. And let me just repeat that: Man, free come that on. you have received freely, and free to give. Freely give it, not 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 um out here taking up alms for your for your friend's shirts. Uh, in fact, that's fifty five ninety five counts push friends is at such a high rate. Yeah, it's because they want to sell your friend's shirt. Exactly. Right. Provide neither gold nor silver nor brass in your preciouses. All right. I guess that was about it. Huh? Yeah. And and I mean, um, the cold thing is with this, all everything that he's saying in verse eight, we have authority through the Holy Spirit to be doing that right now. We're not 
teaching brothers how to operate in that spirit. We're still caught up in, in the law that convicted us from having from, from being allowed to have this type of authority in our life through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Read that. Read verse eight again. And show what we're supposed to be doing when we're on these street corners. Yeah. We're not supposed to be hollering at brothers about put on this, put on that. This is what we're supposed to be out here doing. All right. Oh, uh, heal the sick, mm -hmm. cleanse the lepers, mm -hmm. raise the dead, mm -hmm. cast out devils. Mm -hmm. Free that you have received, freely give. But the only way that you can operate in that and you can please the Most High is through faith. Without faith, it's, it's impossible to please the Most High. Now, now, are these brothers operating in any type of spirit to be showing you how to heal the sick, cleanse the leper, raise the dead, cast out devils? They're putting more of these issues on our people. Mm -hmm. They're putting more burdens on our people. They're not showing you how to get the burdens off, off your, out of your life through the spirit and the power of Yahweh and the Holy Ruach. Right? And let me just go and skip on down and get to it. Mm -hmm. And when you should come into a house, salute it. And if the if the house be worthy, let your peace come unto it. But if it not worthy, let your peace return to you. Mm -hmm. And and whoever should receive you and not hear your word, when you depart out of the house of the city, shake off the dust of your feet. Verily I say unto you, it should be more tolerable for the land of Solomon and Gomorrah in the day of judgment. Yeah, for that city. Exactly. So we don't have to get up here and hoop and holler and make 45 videos about a brother rebuking somebody. Well, we, we, well, we're supposed to lift up our voice like a trumpet. Yeah, you're supposed to be lifting up your voice to be healing the sick. If you're claiming to be who these people are, if you're the apostles, this was what the law that was given to them to execute out here amongst Israel. Heal the sick, cleanse the leper, raise the dead, and cast out devils. Freely you have and freely you receive. I believe that we have that, that power if we operate the way we're supposed to. Right. Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the mm. midst of wolves. Hold Be up. He Check this out. <laughs> Salaki. He told you to go to the go not into the Gentiles. So this the wolves that he's talking about is not talking about these other nations. The wolves that he said I'm sending you amongst is of your own flock. And why why would you be uh, compared to sheep? Exactly. Uh, what, what is sheep known for being the most defenseless animal they is? Exactly. So that is what it meant to make your body a living sacrifice. And if you operated in the spirit, these you wouldn't have to worry about this. He said, no, don't, don't worry about your journey. Um, hold up, hold up. Provide neither gold nor silver nor brass in your purses, right? Um, so... All of this, brother, we, we up here every, I don't know a high holy day that you don't have to pay some sort of something to, you know, y'all getting, man, it's just, it's just too much going on, but let's just, let's keep it on the scripture. All right. Oh, 15, uh, 16. All right. Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of woods, but he therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. Mm. But beware of man, for they will deliver you up to the councils. They will scourge you in their synagogue. Ain't that what they did? They did this to the disciples. Not only did they do this to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh, they did it to the disciples. Yeah, scourge you in the synagogues. And we know we always try to say the plantation Christian church is the synagogue. No. But the camp. <laughs> That's the camps, man. The camp is the synagogue. That's the synagogue of the Most High. Forget what the synagogue of Satan is doing. Mm. They were set up. They're, they're operating in their desired manner. They're actually following what the Most High designed for them to be doing. <laughs> It's Jake that's this, this off course. Right. And you should be before governors and kings for my sakes for a testimony against them in the Gentiles. Come on. But when they deliver you up, take no thought or how, or how or what should you speak for it be given to you in that same hour which you should speak. So this is, this is actually, I believe that this is a twofold. But this is really talking and speaking on when the when when Christ he was preparing them for what was going to have to happen after his after he wasn't no longer on this earth. So they got to get ready to to be delivered up. For it's not ye that speaks, but the spirit of Yahweh which speaks is within you. Uh, it, and and Romo, Romo, Romo. And the brother should deliver up the brother to death, and the father, the child, and the children should raise up against their parents. And cast them to be put to death. So this ain't talking about these other nations, man. He's telling you that uh, your your own 
enemies are going to be of your own household, meaning the flock of Israel. That's just, that's that's how intimate it was going to be. And, you know, and you should be hated of all men mm. for my name's sake. But he that endures to the end should be saved. Come on. But when the pressure cruising, you in the city, fleeing ye into another city. Mm-hmm. And he wasn't talking about going from the Israelite city to uh, the Caucasian side of town. It was oh. talking about go to another Israelite city. All right? If you can't stand on this corner and, and teach, go somewhere to where they will let you teach. And this is the reason, hence the reason why the disciples always constantly had to move around because their life was being pursued. Not by Gentiles. Gentiles didn't have a quarrel with these men. The same way the Gentiles just look at us like we crazy. Man. Exactly. They don't <laughs> they listen don't, to you. They don't, they don't care. They don't yeah. care either way. Hey, all the people who get upset is Jake. That's it. That's it. Uh, uh, yeah, I see. This. Uh, 24. Okay. Yeah. Okay, i read the top. But when they persecute you in the city, flee you into a, another. For I've read it, I say unto you, you should not have gone over the cities of Israel to the son of man become. Mm-hmm. The disciple is not above his master, nor the servant above his Lord. So <laughs> you got to deal with your people. You can't go run to the sunny side of town and start hooping and hollering at the white folk. He telling you right here. Keep, remain. He's talking, still talking to his disciples. Matter of fact, he's still giving them an order of what they are to do with this truth and how to deal with it. Uh, and matter of fact, um, who was um uh, Yahweh Shah come for? Um, what's that Matthew? Uh, fifteen. Which one are you talking about? The um, the um, no guilt was holy to the dogs. That's fifteen. Oh yeah, yeah, fifteen twenty four. Right. Yeah. But he answered and said, I'm not seeing, but unto the loud sheep of the house of Israel. Mm-hmm. Oh, let me, just start a little, let me start a little high. Mm-hmm. All right, 22nd verse. And behold, a woman of Canaan came out of the coast and cried unto him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David. My daughter is grievously vexed with a devil. But he answered her, not a word, and his disciples came and besought him, saying, Send her away, for she cries after us. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the loud sheep of the house of Israel. Then she came and worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me. But he answered and said, It is not me, it is not me, me to take the children's bread and to cast it to dogs. And that goes into what we just read over here. And um, was that Baruch? Where Baruch. It's, mm-hmm, we just read that. Where yeah. it said, was that Baruch uh, uh, 4 and 3? Give not thine honor to another, nor the things that are profitable unto thee to a strange nation. So mm-hmm. Yahweh is actually following the law. Mm-hmm. of, of You know, he's keeping the law of that. Mm-hmm. So he wasn't wasting his energy giving that woman her judgment. It didn't matter. Their judgment, you can go to Obadiah. They can go to Obadiah and read that. Mm-hmm. That judgment. You understand? So uh, Then she then came she and worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me. But he answered and said, It is not me to take the children's bread and to cast it to dogs. And she said, True, Lord, yet the dogs eat of the crumbs which falls from their master's table. Then Yahweh shall answer and said unto her, O woman, great is thy faith. Be unto thee as thy will. And her daughter was made whole from that very day. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I was shy. You know, he, he gave her mercy, even though it wasn't meant for her. Mm-hmm. And, 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 and that's all that was, was us daughter got well. That didn't mean she found salvation and she was going to be saved and all this other. Well, she was going to gain immortality. Exactly. So, and then. Because, I mean, matter of fact, I was just um, looking at a show earlier. Either Mike uh, was in a wreck, got chunked out the car. You would have swore the car was balled up like a like a like a pop can. You he think that's the most I got, mm-hmm. but he don't know that he was just saved for greater destruction later on down the road. Yeah, I got a precept um, on that one. Second Ezra six chapter. Mm-hmm. 
53rd verse. All right. Upon the sixth day, thou gavest the commandment unto the earth, that before thee it should bring forth beasts, cattle, and creepy things. And when I was, um, know some of the brothers get mixed up a little or something on the next subject, that in the book of Genesis, when they say the Lord started creating everything to live on the earth on the fifth day, it was letting you know that the fifth and sixth day, them set that 2,000 years, the Lord used to create every creature that moved on the earth. All right. So I know a lot of brothers get mixed up and think that means man was created on the fifth day. It just means was created on one of them days. Most likely man was created on the sixth day. All right. Upon the sixth, uh, that's why I say upon the sixth day. All right. Fifty-fourth verse. And after these, Adam also, whom thou made this Lord of all creatures of him, came we all, and the people also whom thou hast chosen. All right, uh, him came us out, and the people also who thou hast chosen. And this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou made the world for our sakes. Uh, and as for the other people which also came on Adam, thou hast said they are, uh, are nothing but be like unto spittle. Mm -hmm. And we know spittle means spit. So he, the Lord was saying that the other nations would spit. It has likened them to the abundance of them until it dropped their fathers into a vessel. And now, O Lord, behold thee, even which thou hast has even been recruited as nothing, have begun to be Lord over us and to revive us. But we, thy people, who thou hast caused thy firstborn, thy only begotten, and thy firm and lovers, are given into their hands. If the word not be made for our sakes, why do we not possess the inheritance with the word? How long should this endure? See, we are below the mm -hmm. heathen right now. So that's the biggest reason why we don't concentrate on the heathen, because we are below them. Yeah. All right? we, we, you know, if you're on the bottom, you don't worry about nobody who's not on your level. Come on. Come on that. And uh, uh, you got where you want to go from there? Yeah, let's let's go to Isaiah forty-one and ten. Sorry, ten. Isaiah forty-one. Right. Isaiah forty-one, verse ten. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am, I am Yahweh, and I will strengthen thee. Ye, I will help thee. I will uphold thee, right hand with the right hand of my righteousness. And we know that right hand is Yahweh. Mm -hmm. Behold, all they that are in sin against thee should be ashamed, confounded. They should be as nothing, and they that strive with thee should perish. And this is what I really, this is the emphasis I really want to put on this lesson is put off this weak nature. We have to get out of this carnal spirit the, the, or the carnalness that we're in and get operated totally in the spirit. Um, because doubt in that day will get you destroyed, you know. So read that one more time. As, as I believe it was the fear not Jacob. Oh, we going to come to that. Let's keep going. No, okay. Be, all right. Thou should seek them and should not find them, even in thy countenance with thee, that they that war against thee should be as nothing and as things of not. For I, the Lord, thy power, will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. Mm. Fear not, thou worm Jacob, and ye men of Israel, I will help thee. For, <laughs> all praise, all praise. For, for, not, for I will help thee with the Lord and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Come. Thy Holy One of Israel. Behold, I will make thee a new shot 
thrusting instrument having teeth. Thou should thrust the mountains and and beat them smile, and thou should make the hills as chaff. Meaning that this is going into like the nations that we're gonna be running through, meaning like the governments and, and so and so forth. Mm-hmm. All right, let's keep reading. Thou should fan them, and the wind should carry them away, and the whirlwind should scatter them, Ooh. and thou should rejoice in the Lord, and sh- should glory in the Holy One of Israel. Mm-hmm. When the poor and the needy seek water, and there is none, and their tongue f- f- fell for thirst, I, the Lord, will hear them. I, the, I Yahweh of Israel, will not forsake them. Mm-hmm. One more. I will open rivers in high places and fountains in the midst of the valleys. I will make the wilderness a pool of water. In the dry land, spring of water. Come on, man. So this is the spirit that we have to operate going forth when we hear these prophecies coming forth about the falling of Babylon. We are not to be operating and, and scared and got this weak nature like all these other, as if we have no hope. You see what I'm saying? That show go to show you that that just just by keeping a law, the law, statutes, and commandments is not enough for your salvation for the simple fact. This is why Yahweh Shai had such a beef with the men, with the older heads that were in the synagogue. It's because they was trying to go by this level. You have to operate in this spirit, man. You have to put this weak nature off and have and have trust that that, that Yahweh Shai got on that cross and he died for us. You know what I'm saying? So let's 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 put an emphasis back on that. Um let's start at 17 again. Because th- this is this is deep right here. I want to really set this home. When the poor and the needy seek water. When we get thirsty. There is none. And, and it ain't no water. And their tongue fall. Faint. Fail, fail mm-hmm, for mm-hmm. thirst. Mm-hmm. I, the Lord, will help them. Will hear them. I, the God of Israel, Yahweh, will not forsake them. He ain't going to forsake us, man. And why we are not, why we're not putting more emphasis on these type of scriptures. But yet these people are still wanting to put the same burdens on you. As if we have no hope, like we're just strictly under the letter. We're not under that letter anymore. We are under, we're, we're the God of the living, you know, so we're not other dead. The, the old covenant had us under death, bound to death. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And like I um, said, yeah, we're under grace. Yeah, we got liberty. But you don't abuse grace and liberty, too. I, having <laughs> a pork dinner on Thanksgiving. Let me, let me tell you something. And the cold part with that is you will never have to tell a one-third that because a one-third will never take advantage of something that they, of a liberty that they that, that, that was already presented or given to them. The, the only people that you would have to tell that to is a two-third Negro that was not chosen to start with because he's looking for a loophole. He's looking for a way out. He's looking, you know what I'm saying? A person that's, that's actually concreted in this truth and his faith you don't have to explain to them don't abuse the liberties and the grace and the no because he automatically got that built in his soul and his spirit and his and in his heart you know what i'm saying um it's only gonna be somebody that's that's trying to find a loophole to get out of it just like the one brother that that come up to yahweh shah saying good good master what shall i do to inherit everlasting life Mm -hmm. well see the most i knew his spirit yahweh shah knew his spirit all that nonsense that he was talking didn't mean a hill of beans because if you're rich and you wealthy and you got true love in your heart for your brother, then, hey, however much land or however much possessions I have, I would want my brother to have even much more, even more so. And that's the reason why the Lord said, sell everything that you got and follow me. That's not a commandment um, of salvation. That's not a salvational commandment, but it was the fact that he didn't have love in his heart. Um for, for his brother. And what the Lord say, then you will be perfect. Then you'll be perfect. Follow him. Follow that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, See how cold that is? Yeah. See how you put him all in a, in a trick bag because you're trying to be slick. You're looking for a loophole. Mm-hmm. Even though you're keeping the law, statutes, and commandments, but you're trying to fly right up under that it's rail. It's like um, you got, you know, camps taking up all this money, collection, um, tithes, or whatever, and they ain't giving nothing back into the community. Don't have no clothing drives, no food drives, nothing. no nothing. You right. can't even come to a feast day without paying without paying a, your alms. Once you take the money up, the money belongs to the people. You're supposed to be taking care of your people. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
Yeah, let's let, let, let's touch that one more time. I really want to drill drill that home. Seventeen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because right. this is important. Because people have this question all the time. Well, what are we gonna do? They are gonna cast us out of our homes. They are gonna do this. They are gonna do that. You are gonna put that weak nature off, and you are gonna call on the name of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. Just like um, when we would come out of Egypt, when he told us that he was gonna put up put your put the blood over the door. Well, Yahweh Shah is that blood over your door yeah. this time. Uh, and when the poor and needy seek water, mm-hmm. and there is none, mm-hmm. and their tongue foul for fail for thirst, mm-hmm. I, the Lord, will hear them. Mm. I, Yahweh, the God of Israel, will not forsake them. Mm. All right. And I will open rivers in high places and fountains in the midst of valleys. I will make the wilderness a pool of water in the dry land springs of water. Mm. I will plant in the wilderness the cedar and the what's that? Shiller tree mm-hmm. and the myrtle 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 and the oil tree and I will sit in the desert the fir tree, tree. tree mm-hmm. and the pine and the box tree together that they may see and know and consider and the understanding together that the hand of the Lord has done this, and the Holy One of Israel had created it. This ain't talking about a, a past prophecy. That didn't. This one that's seventy A.D. This this didn't occur in seventy A.D. Nor prior to any other times that this has happened. This is an end time prophecy right here. All right. Uh, you want me to keep going? Yeah. Uh, two more verses. Uh, Produce your call, said the Lord. Bring forth. Your strong reasons, said the king of Jacob. Let them bring them forth and show us what should happen. Let them show the former things that what former things would they be that we might consider them and know the latter end of them mm-hmm. or declare us things for to come. Mm-hmm. Meaning this is this is what's coming. Uh, let's grab uh, twenty three. Uh, show the things that are to come. Hereafter, that we might know that ye are gods. Ye. That's a lowercase God, and that's talking about you. That's talking about the one. That's talking about Israel. The one third of Israel. Mm-hmm. To show that you might know that ye are gods. Ye so, do good or do evil, that we might be dismayed and behold it together. Right. Before ye are of nothing, ye work of not. And abundant uh, abomination is he that chooses you. I have risen up one from the north, and he should come in from the rising of the sun, should he call upon my name. And he should come upon princes as upon mortal, and as the potter you know, treaded clay. Mm-hmm. Who had declared from the beginning that we might know in before time that we might say he is righteous. Man. Ye, there is none that show the show. Ye, there is none that declare ye. There is none hearing your words. The first should say to Zion, Behold, and behold him, and I will give to Jerusalem one that brings good tidings. Come on. For I behold, and there was no man mm. even among them, and there is no counselor that when I ask of them could answer a word. He's speaking of Yahweh Shai, man. He's speaking of Yahweh Shai right here. You know, you know, most of these scriptures that go into seeking David our king was referring to Yahweh Shai. Yeah, it was all referring to Yahweh's all- Yeah, yeah Not that's... a physical king David. No. Behold, they are all vanity. Their works are nothing. Their mortal images are wind and Confusion. Man. Wasn't the these ultimate, brothers keeping laws? Yeah. They was keeping laws, that's the commandments right here. But that he was trying to put them onto the spirit way back then. What well, is that they molten images <laughs> or wind and confusion? That's co- <laughs> Come on, man. So what they worship man. What they worship <laughs> is because you know what, what what their what, what it actually is, is that they're caught up in their carnality. Mm-hmm. It's the fact that you have to be seen and shown. Jake is you gotta Jake is from the show me state. You know, where these other nations, I, I forget where that scripture is, where it says, you got Jake seeketh after a sign, but the other nations seeketh after wisdom. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? 
you know, um, and just to line up with, you know, uh, with being in this um, good state, I want to read my uh, mom's favorite song, the song's 34 Chef. Mm-hmm. And the mama actually know this by truth. It's about his heart, and she, even though she ain't what we were saying the truth, she know it by heart. All right, Psalm 34. Yeah, that's the Psalm of King David. Psalm 34. Mm-hmm. When he changed his behavior before Abimelech, Abimelech. who drove him away, yeah. and he departed. All right. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise should continuously be in my mouth. My soul should make her boast in the Lord, and the humble should die uh, and be glad. And, you know, he was in that half, uh, happy spirit because the Lord delivered him at a time, you know, where a lot of people would have been nervous about being delivered. But we know King David had that perfect faith to where, you know, he always trusted in the Lord. Perfect you know, faith gonna... cast out fear, don't you? Mm-hmm. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. And let us exalt his name together. And so the first thing he did after leaving him was start praising the Lord. Yep. Wrote this song. I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. All right. So he said he was afraid, but he still trusted the Lord. They looked unto him and we were lightened and their faces were not ashamed. The poor man cried, said the Lord, hear him and save him out of all his troubles. Come on. The angel of the Lord encampeth around about them that fear him and delivers them. Come on. Oh, taste and see the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusts in him. Oh, fear the Lord, ye saints, for there is no want to them that fear him. Mm. The young lions do lack and suffer hunger, but they that seek the Lord should not want any good thing. Come on. Come ye children, hearken unto him. I will teach you to the fear of the Lord. What man is he that desires life and love many days that he might see good? Keep the tongue, keep thy tongue from evil and thy lips from speaking God. Mm. Depart from the evil and do good and seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous and his ears are open unto their cry. The fear of the Lord is against them that do evil to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. All right, so it say evil is gonna be cut off from the remembrance of the earth. All right, the righteous cry in the Lord here and deliver them out of all their trouble. The Lord is near unto them that are of a broken heart and saves such as be of a contrite spirit. Mm-hmm. Many are afflicted of the righteous, but the Lord delivered him out of them. Ah, he keeps all his bones, and not one of them is broken. Evil should slay the wicked, and they that hate the righteous should be desolate. Mm. The Lord redeems the soul of his servants, and none of them that trust in him should be desolate. Come on, man. So, souls of his servants. You know, that's going into the one third of Israel that return to this. Yeah. Uh, he's going to make them important. They weren't going to give him. And, uh, man, I can't think of. Oh, yeah, I know. Let's go to. You, are you done with that? Yeah, I'm done with this. Let's go to Psalms 9. Okay. Psalms 9. You want to start the top? You want to me? Yeah, let's start at the top. Right. Nine, nine and nine is what I'm trying to read out. Nine, nine. All right. All right. I will praise the Lord with my heart. I will show forth all my marvelous works. I will be glad and rejoice in thee. I will sing praise to thy name, O thy most high. When my enemies are turned back, they shall fall and perish at thy presence. For thou hast maintained my right and my cause and thou sittest sit in the throne, judging right. Thou hast rebuked the heathen, thou hast destroyed the wicked, thou hast put out thy names forever and ever. Hold up, man, that's cold right there. He said he rebuked the heathen. Mm-hmm. So that's the other nations. Yep. So who he calling the wicked? 
<laughs> it's real. All right. <laughs> Two thirds of Israel. It is. Oh, thy enemies. Destructions are come to prison in, and thou hast destroyed cities, and thy memories is perished with them. But the Lord should endure forever. He had prepared his stone for judgment, and he should judge the word in righteousness, and he should minister judgment to the people in uprightness. The Lord also will be a refuge for the oppressed in a refuge in the time of trouble. Man, come on, man. That's what we're looking for. And that's the that's 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 what any brother that's coming to you that's claiming that they're anointed in the spirit, they need to be giving you power and strength in 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 the in the Holy Spirit at this time, man. Not adding burdens upon you, beating you down. We've been beat down. That's the reason why whenever people try to um, rebuke Jake, that we don't pay attention to it because all we know is rebuke. All we know is death and destruction. All we know is the doom and the gloom. You see what I'm saying? Um, it's time to speak life into our people, man. Man, man I'm, I'm going to get um, Daniel chapter 3. And I was trying to get where um, Shadrach, right, Misha, and Abednego, what they said to Nebuchadnezzar. Yes, sir. Or you, you, we could go to the, the the actual. You want to go to the um, the holy board, the three holy yeah. children? Do they got his answers? What they said to Nebuchadnezzar? I don't think they, let's go. Yeah, let's see. Let's see over here man, three, they because they're they gonna be them. straight up. They're gonna be. They're gonna give it straight up. Was I think you're talking about twenty six? Yeah, it's the third. Uh, three and twenty. It's, it's before they got thrown into the furnace. All right. There was a rose and the ace to speak into the council. They did not cast them three men round. Yeah, okay, that's before. Okay. All right, I'm going to start at the 10th verse. Yeah, okay. Thou, O king, had made a decree that every man that should hear the sound of the um, cornet, fruit, hard, sackbuck, man, Pasadary. Pasadary. You know what? Duke of Lamir. Duke of and all yeah. kinds of music should fall down and worship the golden image. Mm -hmm. And those and those so falling down and worship that he should be cast into the midst of a burning fiery furnace. Mm -hmm. Oh, for who don't fall down, we will fall down. Mm -hmm. There are certain Jews who Thou hast set over the affairs of the prophets of Babylon, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, these men. And you know, one thing that is um, pretty much scholar of, but you know, is not, can't really say for sure because it ain't proven on the shadow of doubt. But the Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and Daniel were all units in the kingdom. All right? Mm -hmm. These men, O king, have not regarded. The thy servants, not the thy gods, nor worship thy golden images which thou hast set up. Then Nebuchadnezzar, in his rage and fury, commanded to bring forth Shadrach, Misha, and Abednego. Then they brought these men before the king. And Nebuchadnezzar spoke and said unto them, Is it true, Shadrach, Misha, and Abednego do not? Ye serve God, serve my gods, not worship my golden image, which I have set before thee. Now, if ye be ready, that that at what time ye hear the sound, and then it's all them things, you should fall down and worship the image, which I have made well. But if ye worship not, ye should be cast the same hour into the midst of the burning furnace. Who is, who is thy power? That should deliver you out of my hands. And Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said, O said King Nebuchadnezzar, we are careful, we are we are not careful to answer thee in this matter. It, it, if it be so, our power, whom we serve, is able to deliver us from the burning furnace, mm. and he will deliver us out of thy hands, O King. Ooh. But if it if not, be it known, the O King, that we will not serve thy gods, nor worship thy golden image, 
is that it's <laughs> yeah, set up. So they say, well, the Lord save them, or even if the Lord don't save them, huh. they still weren't going to worship huh. the image. And that was the spirit Ooh. that we were meant to be into. We ain't supposed to be worried about it. being saved, but no matter what happened, we know our trust is still going to stay in Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. Because whether in this life or the next, you know, we stay true to what we believe in and we keep the faith. We still are going to inherit that immortality. That's why I say the dead and the Mashiach will rise first. Mm -hmm. So there's nothing to be afraid of. Since so, so no one in this truth be operating in the spirit of constant fear. Con. And, and, and man, all I see is constant fear amongst the eldership in, 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 in Israel. They they speak more, they speak that that these people are scared of than than the people in the Christian church. Christian church ain't worried about nothing. Hey, you remember I was talking to my uh, little brother the other day and we were going into how uh, you know how you get nervous about death and then you don't want to die and then you you have kids and it just all of a sudden just go away. Right. <laughs> it's like something is instinct that yeah. once you have kids and have a family everything go to them everything yeah. that you put inside of yourself goes back on them it's yeah. like lord i can deal with what i can do you it's stop like, instantly yeah. stop yeah. fearing death like this no no it's just weird how things work and that's how it's supposed to be we're supposed to know everything's taken care of and if you notice um even when it came down to um isaac um i mean um isaac mm -hmm. no abraham having to um when the angel told Isaac to sacrifice, I mean, Abraham to sacrifice his son, Isaac. Um, man, that man didn't want to do that. Mm -mm. You know what I'm saying? And and, there, and, and there's no... What the Hebrews say? By faith? By faith. Yahweh, Abraham knew that Yahweh could raise him up again. He could raise him up again. So even if he didn't tell him to stop in that moment, he was still willing to take his life because he knew he was going to get risen back up. Mm -hmm. Now, that's the kind of faith that we have to operate in. But I'm going to show you a cold-blooded thing. There is no precepts <laughs> to teach you how to have that type of faith. This is the reason why we give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, because it was freely, it was given to us. So now we have to freely give it back to the flock. Hey, man, that's, that's a beautiful thing right there, man. These, these brothers, we showing all types of instances where the Most High has done delivered them out of, and when it was a way, he made a way out of no way. The same thing that we're about to endure in this very near future. 